Hello YouTubers, this is me again and I really wanted to do um, a health video just to um, educate and to help spread the word. As you guys know I'm a nurse and I'm very passionate about just trying to get the information out there. If this video helps one person, um, I'm happy. So you guys, please watch this video. I know it's good to talk about, you know, the happier side of life. But this is very important information. I really want you guys to watch the video um, and spread the word. And the things that I'm talking about, um, share them with your family members, with your friends. So they'll make sure that they're on point with their um, health screenings and all that good stuff like that. So I just want to make sure that, um, that everybody knows about these certain things. I'm um, talking about reproductive um, cancers um, and um, um, health foods at the end of the video. Um, and the reproductive things, male and female. And um, just other little tidbits that I want to throw in. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this. Okay, um, I want to start off with um, the breast. Um, breast cancer, um, and I want to start off by saying, break, you can get breast cancer um, through um, genetic, um, genetically, and you can get breast cancer through um, environmentally um, um, influenced um, things. Um, genetically, there is a way to test, like if your grandmother and your mother and your aunt all have breast cancer or all have had a a lump or something, you should be on point with your breast exams. Do them monthly. Make sure you are in the shower. You can do it in the shower. You, you're washing them anyway. You might as well fill around. Make sure there's nothing, no lumps or anything. Another thing I want to say, make sure when you do check your breast, make sure that you do it around your cycle so you can feel the differences. And make sure you do it um, just in the beginning so you can get a feel for your breast. Um, make sure um, Cause, because, you know, when you're on your cycle, um, your breasts change. Um, they get swollen and tender, and I want you to know the different types of feelings. So when there's something abnormal, or if there's something abnormal, let me say, you will know the difference, and you can get that checked out, and you can take better care of yourself. And uh, make sure you share this information with your family members. Um, there's three types of ways of doing a breast exam. Um, the circle method, the line method, and the wedge method. Um, all of these basically are the same. It's just to which one is easier for you. Um, the circle method, you start on the outer and you work your way around, around in a circle. The wedge, you start on the outer and work your way in, sort of like a pizza cut. You know, you start at the top and work your way towards the nipple and um, around to each side. Or um, the line method where you just start on one side and go um, up and down um, feeling to make sure you don't feel anything extra. Um, and another thing, um, you need to check under your arms and your, and your chest also because you can have lumps in those areas also. It's just not your breast. Um, another important thing I want to say, us, we are dying of breast cancer because we don't do the exams. When you catch it small, you can get it taken out, bam, you're fine. But we don't do our exams. And they are doing their exams and getting it caught in time and getting it treated, getting it, you know. We, us African Americans, black people, we are dying of breast cancer and it's something simple that can be cured. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a simple thing that's killing a lot of us. And the only thing you have to do is just check your breast um, with one of the methods. And I have, um, I want to show you this. Um, this is just a picture of, um, if you notice that your nipples are starting to 
introvert, go in or retract, um, you need to bring it to the attention of your doctor. If you are not breastfeeding or not pregnant and you notice some kind of discharge of any sort, even, and if you are pregnant and notice a discharge that has an odor, you need to get that checked out. Um, make sure you become one with your breast, you know, just like the back of your hand. If there's any abnormality, you need to get that checked out. Um, and this is a picture of a um, of just a fibroid, um, just a lump in the breast. I want you to look at it. And this is a um, mammogram. Um, just showing you how they do mammograms. If it doesn't hurt, you just basically put in your breast on this table and they just look through it to make, you know, to see anything extra in there. Um, like I said earlier, there, you know, if your grandma and all the females in your family have had some type of breast issues, um, there is a genetic test um, that can be done to see if you have that gene that will determine that later you can um, develop breast cancer. So that's another thing, look into and spread the word um, because women don't need to be dying over something that can be so easily stopped. Um, this is another thing I want to talk to you guys about. Um, female reproductive health, period. Make sure that you're getting your pap smears. Um, even if you don't have the money, ladies, please make sure you contact um, the organizations in your community because they can get you to a health clinic where you don't have to pay for it. Um, it's something that you should do every year, every, every year. Um, they have a... Um, because they check for um, uterine cancer um, and if and, um, if ovarian cancer, if it's so far gone, they can catch that too. And it because ovarian cancer is hard to detect um, through regular exams. Um, you know, so if you're having anything out of the ordinary, any kind of cramping, any kind of sharp pains, any kind of discharge with a foul odor, get that checked out. Don't just let it go because then if you let it go, then it can lead to something else. So if, if there's some type of ovarian cyst um, and you notice you're having you know, these sharp pains, they can get that corrected before it leads to something that's not so correctable. Um, so make sure you get your pap smears even if you don't have the money because they're checking for cervical cancer and other things. If you have any bleeding out of the ordinary, any fibroids, any any pain, 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 strong pain with your uh, menstrual cycle, get that checked out. Make sure you stay on point about your body because if you don't take care of yourself, no one is going to be there to take care of yourself, um, take care of you for you. So make sure you stay on point with that. Um, then I want to show you a picture of, um, of uterine cancer, okay? 